Good morning, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the human race is called to be more that appearance, show, and this and this is drew to the victory of Christ over death. This is our faith. As in the Beatitudes, the Lord proposed an ideal that take us live considering what we are that is forever and mortal beings. Yet our life must be lived with wisdom. Otherwise, it will go down the wrong path and good and badly. With the day and resurrection of Christ, our perishable destiny can take on immortality. Jesus give us, gives himself to be our master, the rabbi, our only capable and master of the clear of wisdom to give us to live on the divine wisdom. Only those who have learned and practiced will be able to guide themselves and their brothers the to universal salvation. It is he who will lead us to the fullness of life. With him, we will be able to emerge victorious from our little side to take part in something greater. The Lord's work of salvation. Our participation in this work will be bring us out of blindness, out of false judgment about others. It is possible for a blind man to guide another? Certainly not. We need to be good seers, good trades, Clear silence means wise people to hope to offer good fruits to our communities and to the world to bring about salvation. We need men and women of value. This is what Jesus accepts from each of us on this Sunday. We aren't, he wants us to be like good trees for better fruit and good. This is the quality that he accepts from each one, from each disciple. In our Christian communities or in all social environments, we have our elders, our retirees, our young people, in short, our regulars, by their commitment, their action, their testimony, their experience, who can be who can be considered as good trees to allow us to harvest good fruits in view of salvation. There are many of us, our Simons, Annas. Marguerite, our Daniel, etc. Who every day work for the realization of the work of the Lord. They are our wise men, our workers who hold the common house, who work the common house of God for the transmission of the faith and the wisdom of God which must enlighten every person in search of salvation. 
Each one must live as a person of value, enlightened by the divine wisdom of God in Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord, you know the fragility of our faith like a blind man on the road. May you all enlighten us and open our eyes of faith to guide us to participate in the realization of your work of salvation. May we be good disciples, like good trees, recognizable by their excellent fruit. Give us the privilege to obtain good fruits by our involvement in the apostolic fields. Above all, make us men and women of value at the service of your kingdom to be built here and in the beyond. Do not look at our weaknesses, but rather or our faith and grant us the grace to do so. Send us your Holy Spirit of wisdom. Good Sunday to all of you. Happy return to land so soon with the Wednesday of the imposition of ashes which is coming with Jesus, wisdom of God from the Father. Let us be happy to be inspired for our present life by his divine wisdom. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.